Good morning. My name is Elizabeth Wheeler. I'm staff attorney for Clean Wisconsin. Our organization is based at 634 West Main Street, Madison, Wisconsin. Thanks for the opportunity to comment today. I'm here to speak about Clean Wisconsin's concerns with GTAC's pre-application notice and bulk sampling plan. Since this is the first of only two required public hearings for the entire project under the new mining law, we felt it necessary to speak at this hearing and identify issues not only with the items in front of DNR, but to help outline our hopes for the decision-making process moving forward. I'm going to try to outline as many specific comments as I can in the three minutes allotted, and then we'll be submitting written comments before the end of the comment period on September 3rd. Uh, the iron mining law permits bulk sampling activities to collect data for sampling and analysis related to geophysical, geochemical, groundwater, and surface water conditions, as well as any other data or studies necessary to prepare an application for a mining permit, including the mining plan, reclamation plan, mining waste site feasibility study, and plan of operation, or any other approval required for the proposed mining. Clean Wisconsin urges DNR to require or encourage GTAC to collect data re relating to as many of these potential impacts to the greatest amount possible during bulk sampling. GTAC has not proposed to, to re collect data re uh, relating to many of those potential studies. Uh, Clean Wisconsin has the following specific concerns and questions about bulk sampling. GTAC's bulk sampling plan is sparse on required information, and GTAC has not provided DNR with adequate response to the issues that DNR raised with the, the bulk sampling plan to date. In fact, GTAC responded to DNR's request for information by rescinding their plan altogether and proposing an entirely new plan without directly addressing DNR's concerns. GTAC maintains that if their plan B does not give them enough information for bulk sampling, they will revert to plan A. However, GTAC has failed to do the necessary analysis on either plan to move forward. While the idea to sample from existing piles of waste rock is generally a less ecologically disruptive plan, the permit application GTAC submitted leaves us with many unanswered questions. In specific, GTAC has uh, submitted no plans to control dust from the bulk sampling process. They also did not specify the extent of adverse impacts to the scenic or recreational areas, and they failed to prevent, pr provide a plan for dealing with sulfide minerals. GTAC has asserted that their plan B will not disrupt any environmental, uh, will not have any environmental impacts because it involves removing material from an area that was disrupted 53 years ago. However, simply because the area was, has been disrupted in the past and has been disrupted 53 years ago, that does not mean that there will be no new environmental impacts from their bulk sampling. In addition, we've got many specific concerns with the pre-application submitted by GTAC. <laughs> Uh, the intent is to provide DNR with enough information to inform GTAC that permits, baseline studies, and other information for an environmental impact statement will be required for the mining project. However, GTAC has not provided enough information for the DNR to make that determination. I'll just list my things. <laughs> I, know, I know it's hard to keep within the three minutes. Okay. And, um, if you could list your things really quickly. I'll just give you the top level And then so we'll, we'll look forward to your written comments. Thank you. So we are concerned about mercury and arsenic pr present in the rock. We're concerned about acid mine drainage that could be uh, created by the rock. Uh, we are concerned about the lack of information regarding both of those on things on behalf of GTAC. We're concerned about the volume of waste, which is enough to bury the entire city of Green Bay under 10 and a half feet, feet of waste. Uh, we're concerned about um, asbestos-like materials that are in the rock. We're concerned about uh, the volume and source of water withdrawals, which they've been incredibly uh, vague about. And One we're con more concern. Sorry? One more concern. One more? Okay, I'll admit, uh, impacts that are threatened to threatened or endangered species. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. And we do encourage you to submit. I know you have more detailed comments, and you'll let us know. Thank you.